Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to try welding up these air boxes. Firstly, I'm going to try welding with the water cooler on auto. That's test number one, which is just part of what we've got going on. But the actual thing I want to test today is, is weld assist. Aluminium, it's two mil thick. We're doing an outside corner joint and I'm going to be in a 90 degree position. It's recommending argon at 7 litres a minute. Um, it's going to be 82 amps. There's going to be no pulse. That's what we're going to play with on today's test. 2.4 millimetre electrode, which I'm using a lanthanated electrode. I am using a number four gas cup on a standard collet body. Uh, 155 millimetres a minute. Hit apply on those settings. And automatically the machine sets to 60 hertz. It auto defaults to Optima Wave and uh, negative 25 for the AC balance. So it does set auto for the post flow and auto for the pre flow. Generally, the auto post flow on this machine doesn't run long enough, but I just want to try everything on full auto and see what kind of results I get. Let's weld. And I forgot to mention I'm using a 1.6 millimeter 5356 filler rod. I'm going to start with this thin section uh, to help dissipate the heat. I'm also going to be using chill blocks as I weld through this section. I'm going to do exactly the same weld with the only change being sine wave. I'm going to try welding with the water cooler on auto. Currently the torch is sitting uh, around 50 degrees, 45 to 50 degrees. Um, this is still on auto. So we'll dip that across to square wave. All the other parameters have stayed the same. I'm going to try welding with the water cooler on auto. Right now, I don't know if you can see that, but my torch is smoking. 120, 100 degrees. The TIG torch cooler hasn't even kicked in yet. And you can see, still got it on auto. I'll just turn that on. Where is the temperature sensor? Or the water? Is it in the water cooler return line in the cooler itself? Uh, if anybody knows, can you let me know in the comments below? I'm very curious A to what it's set at by default and B how can I change it, improve it, manipulate it, make it work? Be nice to have it on auto so that fan wasn't on all the time. This is the finish on the Optima. This is the square wave and this is the sine wave definitely the best looking world on the optima penetration and everything looks the same so let's go optima and just turn pulse on
I'm gonna try loading with the water cooler on auto. had a whole little line explode and that's what I get for trying to test the auto setting on this water cooler. really easy for me to blame the machine and I really want to because I, I feel like this only happened because I was messing around with I'm gonna try welding with the water cooler on auto the worst part is having to deal with coolant really gets into everything, you know. But that pulse setting looks fantastic. And the other absolute win we get from that situation is that I get to practice my stop start. Not a bad stop start. It's certainly not my best ever, but. I'm really happy with those settings, which is a one second pulse with a 40% on time. Um, that was Optima Wave. Next one, I'm gonna try Sine Wave. Same pulse settings with Sine Wave. I am gonna run a heat sink around this hole in the part, just from the information I learned from the previous weld. Fingers crossed that the TIG torch doesn't explode this time. That was sine wave with the one second pulse. Uh, that that weld has a really nice look to it. Although actually I think the Optima is a much cleaner weld. And of course we've got to try square wave. Doing everything the same as last time except changing to square wave and I have put a heat sink back on that same section. A little bit more difficult to get consistency. It definitely made me have a tighter dab, um, but really a really acceptable world. Optima, sine, square. So my final thoughts on weld assist for two millimeter aluminium. How awesome that straight out the box you can input your material, your thickness, your joint type, and um, get some parameters that work really well. With changing nothing other than the addition of pulse, I'm actually really happy with those settings, and I'm gonna to continue to play with them and see what sort of results I get over time. The Optima Waveform had the best experience for me as the welder, but the square wave gave the best results aesthetically. As far as function of the world, they are really identical. Thank you guys so much for spending this time with me. I truly appreciate it. Uh, if you like what I got going on here, hit subscribe and I'm gonna get back to welding. <laughs>